There. We set you on that end. Hey, you guys. You guys know John Ferry? I think yeah. some of you might know John Ferry. And fabulous uh, new show, Straight and Narrow, which the gallery staff and installation crew went, thought we should have called Vertigo. But, uh, <laughs> we got it wrong. But I asked you for title names. I, well, I didn't realize. We didn't realize until we actually were in the midst of it. But, but it's a beautiful exhibition. And uh, so we're going to have John give us a little information about what he's been up to. And then Michael Schultz is going to uh, talk for a few minutes about his beautiful photography that we see in this room. So we'll uh, let John Ferry. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Um, <laughs> you might want to save that applause. <laughs> um, and and I'm gonna, I want to read something that's not very long. My wife said, make sure you don't throw too many quotes out there. <laughs> she, she, she's always trying to reel me in a little bit. Um, but I was reading this to my students yesterday. I teach at the Kansas City Art Institute. And I thought, yeah, I, I was meant, because this it, it spoke to me really well. Um, so when Krishna introduced Arjuna, that we have a right to our labor, but not to the fruit of our labor, he was counseling the warrior to act territorially, not hierarchically. I always mispronounce that. Hierarchically. Does that sound right? Okay. We must, uh, we must do our work for its own sake, not for fortune or attention or applause. Then there's a third way proffered by the Lord of Discipline, which is beyond both hierarchy or territory. That is to do the work and give it to him. Do it as an offering to God. Give the act to me, purged of hope and ego. Fix your attention on the soul. Act and do for me. And then this is a book by Stephen Pressfield. And he goes on and he says, The work comes from heaven anyway. Why not give it back? To labor in this way, the Bhagavad Gita tells us, is a form of meditation. It, it certainly is for me. And, and a supreme species of spiritual devotion. It also, I believe, conforms most closely to higher reality. Uh, in fact, we are servants of the mystery. We were put, we were put here on earth to act as agents of the infinite, to bring into existence that which is not yet, but which will be through us. Every breath we take, every heartbeat, every evolution of every cell comes from God and is sustained by God every second. Just as every creation, invention, every bar of music or line of verse, every thought, vision, Fantasy, every dumbass flop, and stroke of genius comes from that infinite intelligence that created us and the universe in all its dimensions, out of the void. The field of infinite potential, perhaps chaos, the muse. To acknowledge that reality, to efface all ego, which is very hard, to let the work come through us and give it back freely to its source, source that in my opinion is as true as reality gets and that you know really spoke to me so thank you for bearing with me as i as i read through that and i just want to first thank sherry for giving me the opportunity to show here and i want to thank uh, lise for designing my card and doing all those hard monotonous things that need to be done to help put a show together I want to thank Melissa for doing an amazing job of hanging the show. I hate hanging artwork, man. It's, I can't do it. I, can't, I can put a composition together on a... Uh, and I want to really thank my wife, because she's been... Uh, yeah, and she'll... Anybody, yeah, anybody who knows me, knows my wife, knows how. She's the hardest working person I know and the most thoughtful. And I've been really selfish, especially this year. I've been out in the studio a lot, and she's been really patient with, with all of that. And, uh, and anyone who knows my wife or has met her knows, like, one of her supreme talents is 
she engages people in conversation and, and really asks them about themselves and, and gets them speaking. So uh, thank you, honey. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, she said, don't say too many quotes, John. But I'll say, and I posted this today, but Michelangelo said, I don't have any friends and I don't want any. But he never had to give a talk at Sherry Leedy Gallery. <laughs> And as I look out and I see so many, you know, newer and older friends and different people who've been supportive, I'm really appreciative. My heart's full that that so many of you have come out to support me tonight. And it also lets me know how horrible I am and return to you guys because I'm not as supportive as I should be. But I'm very, very grateful. I don't take any of, of this very lightly. Uh, and... Um, just a little bit about the work, because I feel like I've already gone on so long. But um, a, a few years ago, I went to an illustration conference in Detroit. Uh, it's called Icon Illustration Conference. And a colleague of mine, David and Terrell, and I walked around Detroit, and we were shooting reference. And I always like shooting, you know, reference of new places that, that I've visited. And uh, I usually need to sit on it for a long time before I do anything with it. And I had it for a year, maybe two, before I even started getting it out. And I started looking through it, and it was, it was interesting to me, but I couldn't, like, it felt like a little bit more of the same. And I used to think of myself or say, like, oh, I document things. I'm, I'm a painter, I doc, I doc, but I don't because... I, I use it as a starting. I'm, I'll use the the city or the the reference that I've had as a as a starting point. But uh, Ad Reinhardt said, first decide what you're not going to do, so you can focus in on what you are going to do. And it's really about simplifying. And what do you take out and, and have it? What what do you need in there, and what what don't you need in there? If I was documenting it, I'd stick everything in there. But I'm really just using it as a starting point to do my work. And I wasn't. Um, fully feeling it and then i just started thinking well do you like it now do you like it now? and then i got down to this really narrow format and i really liked it so i started looking at things you know going back and shooting reference and thinking about you know what what will work within that kind of format um, and i know i need to be careful because when i get on something i really like i can do it for a long 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 time and i don't want it to become a crutch for me either but that's kind of uh, a little bit about my process and maybe why I have the format that I have in these works and uh, thank you guys all for for uh, coming out and supporting me uh, I appreciate it thank you <laughs> <laughs>